in a world. Four friends, one mission, to bring freedom to everyone involved. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I'm doing a thing for the podcast. Dude, just say the name. <sighs> Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. Holy fuck, boys. And the inflection on that is important. Yes, very yeah. much so. Yeah. You have to have... Oh, now. Now it's fuck boy time. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't fuck boy before time. Are we talking like... like what? Time to... F- what? When what? I said holy fuck boys a minute ago... It holy wasn't, fuck boys. It wasn't fuck boys. It wasn't fuck Now we're going time. with holy ones? What the fuck? Now it's, now it's, yeah, it's like ominous, dominus, fuck boy. I don't fucking want to do go this forth anymore. And, go, forth and use, <laughs> go forth and use your dick a lot. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Don't go forth and fuck boys. Yeah, no, no, but, no. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, no. okay. I, I, <laughs> Where is your <laughs> mind at, guy? That's why I said inflection is important. Yeah, that's true. That's very, very true, I suppose. Uh, boys, it's, uh, it's Thursday. I've got a drink and I've got a stick. You know what that means? Johnny Boy, what are we about to do? We're about to masturbate, boys. You got damn right. It's time for Freedom Friends Master Debate, where us, the Freedom Friends, solve the world's problems, one mediocre topic at a time, and I got one for us this week, boys. We even find problems we don't know existed. Yeah, well, and then we come up with a solution for it. Yeah. So this is less of a problem and more of a question. It's a situation. So we've been through the ringer the last year with COVID and everything. Not as bad as Australia. Not as bad as Australia. <laughs> Fucking but Australia. God damn it. What? those people. What are some of the positives that have came out because of COVID? And I'll give you an example. Everybody now washes their hands appropriately. The flu went away. The flu went away. Do you know why? COVID. Fucking washing your hands and hand sanitizer. It's a positive. Oh, I I thought it was because of COVID. I have never used hand sanitizer, not even once through COVID. No, not no. I did, but it was typically after <laughs> it was typically after like I shook somebody's hand and was like, "I don't think you're clean." Like <laughs> I, I, I still never used hand. I've sanitizer. gotten addicted to hand sanitizer. Like I like it. I don't. It tastes I, terrible. I fucking you, like it. But you know I'm it also, doesn't do I'm what it's supposed people, to do. Right? Yeah, no, I'm I know. Also, but I'm like I'll have a, that, I'll have a dart though, and it's like fucking. I'm know, one of those people though. That I don't do hand sanitizer. Like I wash my hands when I take a piss or whatever. But yeah. I don't use hand sanitizer hand sanitizer because I'm one of those people that believes that you need a certain amount of germs going in to keep no, your agree. system from just well, catching that's, everything. That's like, why I didn't get sick as a child. Yeah. So I was eating dirt because <laughs> you were off. a dirty boy. Yeah, that's yeah. right. But fucking even hell. now, like but my kids didn't get sick. Like <laughs> dirty little fuckers. Well, now that the public's <laughs> open again and I'm watching everybody go out and all those people are like, Man, I feel like crap and I'm like, That's because you over sanitized fucking everything, everything and your immune system shot. Like But I will say, I think I think um just Overall, personal hygiene has gotten better because of COVID. I'll give you one positive. What? I like that people aren't in my fucking space all the time. That's yeah. another fucking plus, dude. I, I'm a fan of the that. The six foot rules, pretty awesome. And now it's like embedded in, it's like embedded into everybody. Just it's like, like Pavlonia now. Like, like everybody stays the fuck away. Like, oh, I like this bubble that I've got. Yeah. I, you, know, you know my favorite thing now that COVID's kind of over? What? I, I like to shake hands. I do. Yeah. It's that personable aspect, that, you know, the, everything that goes along with shaking hands. We all do it here. We can see somebody it twice is in the same awesome. day, and it's always a sh- handshake and a hug. It is so thing. awesome yeah. when you go to shake somebody's hand. And they offer a fist bump? No, and they don't know what they're like. Uh, and they, you can <gasps> literally, you, you watch their eyes, and they go eye contact with you, and you put your hand out to shake their hand, and I, like, I'll smile like a giddy little fucking school kid. I'm like, ah. <laughs> And they look at my hand, and then they're like nervously, like slowly start to reach, and I'll just grab. Like, How you doing? <laughs> I fucking love oh. it. Do you know what else has been an awesome COVID boom? What's that? Now that everything's opened back up, uh, all the people that are back in the workforce, especially like in the service industry or customer service or anything, like, are all people that legit want to be working yeah. and yeah. they want to be there. The quality of service that I have received. Oh, it's great. Has been most outstanding in comparison to the way it was pre-COVID. Yeah. Speaking of quality like, service, everybody that's everybody that's out there working now actually wants to be working. Yeah. Because everybody's hired. Like everybody's looking for people. My my favorite thing about COVID is drive-through alcohol, <laughs> delivery alcohol, <laughs> delivery alcohol. Oh. Like I mean, that's a it's a like why not right? Why not? Yeah. yeah. We just have to seal your cup. Okay, great. That's fine with that. Sure. (laughs) (laughs) 
No, delivery alcohol. Yeah, some of the rules changes that have happened because yeah. of COVID, I'm kind of down for. The amount of delivery services Dealer's that now choice. exist are yeah, pretty phenomenal. Yeah, since, since COVID started, my wife has not gone to the grocery store one time. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, I, I know it's more expensive. I enjoy going to the grocery store. I do, store. too. Fuck yeah. I love because it. Because yeah. I... I like the things that I haven't had yet. Madison's like, just tell me what you want. I'm like, I can't do that. I yeah. have to go walk through the yes. grocery store. I need more butter, goddammit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey actually sent me a Snapchat. And he's like, fuck, I feel your pain, bro. I and totally... he's got like 46 sticks of butter in his <laughs> I, fridge. <laughs> I, I do it, dude. And I almost did it again the other I, day. I'm telling you. Every, like, like fuck, thank God man. Dave... Thank, thank God Dave goes to the grocery store with me. Because I will literally reach and Dave's like, you don't need butter. And I'm like, thanks. And I'll just keep walking. <laughs> like every fucking time. Yeah. So I like going to the grocery store, but my favorite trip of all is going to Costco. I fucking love going to Costco. Yeah. And I love going to Costco because they always have the shit that I know I'm going to get at Costco. But week to week, you don't know what the fuck is going to be in And they Costco. always have something good. And I don't know how the fuck they flip that store so fast. Right. Because we're not talking like... A little item is gone or whatever. It's like that was grills last week, and this week now it's all patio furniture. Now, and you, I don't know how the fuck they flipped like the entire center of the store yeah. into all new product. You, you got to be oh. careful with Costco though. And I'll and I, I'll give you a prime example of this. So you know, like the the outside like plastic chests that you put all like your pool toys in, the really yeah. big fucking things. Yeah. And look on like Amazon or fucking Costco's website. I just bought one, and they're like two hundred bucks. Yeah, I think I spent two twenty on it. Okay, something. Dave and I are walking through Costco one day. Oh, it's like six hundred. They have one. The price tag on it was ninety nine bucks. I already had a bunch of shit in the cart. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. It's a it's a big fucking box. I'm like, I'm just gonna go home. I'm gonna get online, order it from Costco, have it fucking delivered, be a lazy fucking asshole. Yeah. Call it a day. I get home, go on their website. It's two hundred bucks. It's two hundred bucks. I wake up first thing that next morning and go immediately back to Costco. It's still on the floor for $99. I put the part number in, like on the website, in the store, pulls up on the website, $199. Bucks. I'm like, fuck this. That's put what it on the cart, turn around and walk. That's what it. I'm saying. My yeah. wife doesn't go to the grocery store. I know I'm paying double. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm paying double. Yeah. But then there's other – well, so Costco's website's weird because there's certain shit you can order from them and not be a Costco member, and then there's stuff that you can uh, buy from them if you are a Costco member. So that yeah. may be what you ran into. You may have seen non-member pricing. No, it's member pricing. Oh, really? Yeah. I bought. I just bought one of those things. That's awesome. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so customer service is definitely higher. It's definitely better. Yeah. After COVID. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm still holding out on getting a Costco membership. Why? Because there's no samples still. No, that's not this. true. I eat six not samples true. on my Are last trip. Are the samples trip back? Fuck yeah. Okay, I'm in then. <laughs> I hope it is officially over if the samples are back That's the whole reason you get the Dude, membership is for the I samples. Had, Fuck and I. I had hot. And the chicken bake. Yeah. Had, but you don't need a membership for that. No, I had no. hot I didn't sweet know that. pickles and then walked another aisle and had a fucking popcorn chip thing. It was fucking weird. Yeah. I didn't like the popcorn chip thing. But I'll try it anyways because it's free sample. With the hot and sweet, the hot and sweet pickles. You can put a turd on a fucking tortilla and be like, it's free sample. I'll be like, I'll try it. The only, <laughs> the only thing now is everything they give it's you is like a, tortilla. It's either in a little individual cup or it's like wrapped in a little like paper thing. That's weird to me. You. But I'm like, whatever. Just give me the fucking toothpick, man. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> no, the samples are back. Nice. Yeah. And see, that right th that solidifies it. I'll go get a Costco yeah. membership this week. Samples are back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally that's what right. I was holding on for. Some, what are some other? Uh, but I almost bought butter. I almost bought like four pounds of carry <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. gold butter when I was there. Fucking butter, dude! I'm telling you. <laughs> I literally, like, I got home because I got got home from the store and tried to stick more butter in the thing, and I was like, <laughs> "Fuck!" And I sent it to John. It's a real thing. And I was like, I "Dude, you, it is I'm a real telling thing. you, I'm fucking. I do this the same. <laughs> it, it was so weird when you said it. It was like. I was like, fuck, I feel that. God damn it, I feel that. It's the first three things on everybody's list. It's like buttermilk eggs. Yeah. When you come Whether you like, need it or not. And it's like, I have six dozen eggs. What the fuck am I doing with all you, these You know eggs? what it is in our house? It's it's a certain little seasoning for cooking. And I'll go through the cabinets and I'll be like, God damn it, Michelle. What the fuck? You have like 45 bottles of half-used fucking shit. Like, yeah. like thyme or some shit, right? Like, I don't know. It means time. Time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Time. It's looking up time. No, it's like, Caitlin likes to bake. <laughs> Caitlin likes to bake, and for a while, everything she would bake would take, like, cream of tartar or something like cream that. Cream of tartar. And it would, they come in those little itty-bitty half jars. Yeah. 
And I think for a minute we had like eight jars. Yeah. Eight well, it's half because Snicker, Snickerdoodle has fucking cream of tartar in it. Yeah, but it takes like half I a, learned that from your wife. Half this a week, teaspoon. It's like half a teaspoon, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. We had like eight jars of the old shit. stuff. You need the mm. fresh stuff. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Speaking of overbuying, though, I decided I wanted to make my own bacon. Yeah. But you have to preserve it first. Yeah. So I bought a 10-pound pork belly. Nice. So I, I'll get like eight pounds of bacon out of it. Yeah. Right? Or you can get 10 pounds of pork belly burnt ends. Or yeah. I can do uh, Which are amazing. I'm going to do smoked pork belly after this, but I want to make my own bacon. That's yeah. like the trek I'm on right now. But you need pink salt. And not like Himalayan salt. It's the stuff that's it's literally pres- it's preservative, it's pre- salt. It's preservative yeah. salt. Yeah. And it's nitrate. It's like curing salt. But you, so it's curing salt. It's also known as prog powder. Yeah. And there's number one, number two, and blah, blah, blah. I had to learn all about this fucking prog yeah. powder. But to make 10 pounds, I need like a tablespoon of this stuff. But they sell it by the pound. So this <laughs> jar that I have of it will do 200 pounds of meat. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> like, I'm Looks gonna, like I'm going to go back to the butcher. <laughs> I'm going to have preservative salt forever. <laughs> like... I'm like, I'd have to do 20. So, so there's two things that a man, once he reaches 30 years old, decides to go down. Yeah. One avenue is to be a World War II expert. And the other avenue <laughs> is to go down the rabbit hole of smoking meats. Yeah. <laughs> and Jazz just happened to pick up a smoker within the past 30 days yep. or so. Yeah. And he is and all about smoking balls them. deep oh, down dude, that rabbit yo, hole. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah. You want to know? Way more useful than World War II knowledge. I'm sorry. Uh, it is. <laughs> it's, it's like our, our buddy Jim from episode yeah. Fuck You, Sir. Yeah. World War II guy. Yeah. <laughs> All of us no, smoking, smoking meats. Meat, smoking meats, dude. <laughs> it's bad. And women, it's plants. My house looks like a fucking jungle right now. And it is clearly because <laughs> right? my wife is in her mid 30s. How, 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 how does That's that happen? That's trying to get my wife started. I sent my wife home with a fucking plant. There's I'm a basil like, plant. Oh, right I was looking there. I was looking at it. Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah. Oh, and the bad hey, thing hey. is that I'm a collector. Like, just... Yeah, you are. You I'm a collector. Yeah. Like, I collect things. You're like Benicio Del Toro in the fucking... Oh, it's Pat. Yeah. <laughs> in the so, Marvel Universe, yeah. I got this smoker and decided that, like, well, if I have a smoker, I need rubs. Yeah. Like, I need rubs for meat, right? So I started and I got, like, four rubs. I now already own, like, 30 different rubs. <laughs> yeah. I've had my smoker, like, a month. I, yeah. I shit you not. We went to the farmer's market. As soon as you said I found, that like, you three different smoker, vendors that were making different fucking rubs. And I was knew like, that Caitlin was not bringing that fucking salt and pepper and garlic fucking rub that we got at work back. I knew I was never going to see it again. I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I own, like, four different salt, pepper, and garlic rubs now. I like, know. From different companies and yeah. shit. And I'm like... They all do different things. They're yeah, different. Yeah. They're all different. Yeah. I need as many as possible. Well, right tool for the right job, man. Exactly. Yeah. You know. So, but so uh, my speaking of which, my grill kind of shit the bed on me this week. Yeah. Like, well, I ran out of propane. You mean your like, ashtray? Right at the end. Of, like, that's only one half. All right. <laughs> that's but the, the smoker. But side. the yeah, it is. But but the but the, the fire the firebox in that thing doesn't hold heat with the shit <laughs> and all this. And I was like, fuck, man. I was like, I need to. I was like, I need to fucking. I think I need to fucking get a new one. Dude, I saw the one that you should get. Yeah. Because literally, so I'm not a fan of Walmart. Oh, I know. I'm not a fan. I know. But when when I'm I found out you guys went to fucking we Walmart, went. I fucking, I did a little happy dance today. I went. Because I don't and know I if you knew this. specific reason. Jazz and Caitlin are way too good for Walmart. No. I just, <laughs> <laughs> not even with being too good for it. I just hate the fact that every time I go to Walmart, I feel like I'm going to end up in a knife fight while I'm there. Dude, like, you're going to the wrong Walmarts, man. Go to the one in Cibola, dude. It's fucking nice, dude. It's, so, all bo- it's the bougie Walmart. I just don't like going to Walmart. <laughs> but I went for a very specific reason, and it's because now I have all this shit for this smoker, and I have nowhere to store it. And they sell a bullshit rolling tool cabinet. Now, I would not trust putting my tools in it, because I think by the time I put enough actual steel in it, it would just collapse in on itself. Yeah. But holding like all of my rubs and my grill tools and shit, good enough for that. Sure. So I went till I got my eyes on it and I was like, this isn't worth the money. But they're carrying all that Silverstone stuff there. Blackstone. Or Blackstone. Yeah. All of the, the, but Blackstone makes one that is half grill, half smoker, and the grill has a griddle insert. Yep. That's still propane powered. Yes. And it's like $300. For like the whole fucking thing. See, and I was yeah. like, "Son of a bitch." See, and th- so, so, but that, that'd be perfect for you because that's then you get been the, my holdup. The is griddle's like, not big enough. I will tell you yes. this: it's like a seventeen-inch griddle. It is it's not, not big enough. enough. You need the thirty-four-inch griddle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So but you can buy a whole blackstone griddle for like two hundred and fifty yeah. bucks. Like, yeah. I want, I want, I want a fucking griddle. 
I want a fucking. I want propane. Do it right. Get, and get I want a separate fucking, griddle. Yeah. And get a separate grill. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want a smoker, get a separate smoker. Those all in one fucking things. It's like everything else you buy that's all in one. Yeah. It, it does, does a whole lot, lot of things, but it doesn't do anything right. They do make yeah, some yeah. massive smoker grill ones that are literally pellet grills with like 20 pound hoppers on one side and like propane grills on the other, but they are fucking huge. They're the size of half that desk. Like yeah. they're, um, you have a patio for it, so it fit, but yeah. that would probably be the only time that I would say like, sure, get the 50 50 ones because they're, it's big enough. Yeah. But any of the ones that are like the normal size grill, but it's split to do two different things. Yeah. It's not big enough. I think I'm going to pull, I think I'm going to pull out the old, pull out, get rid of the old uh, Oklahoma Joes though. Bro, you, you got a one wheel. Uh huh. Invest in some <laughs> grills. Yeah. I'm down for it, man. <laughs> like, I'm not worried about like, that. You could have bought three Traegers for the cost I of know. one wheel. Fuck that. Traeger, give us money. I'm not paying full fucking price. <laughs> Go to Costco. They've got them for fucking $200 cheaper. God damn it. They've got the, <laughs> That's where I got Silverstone, because they have the Silverton yeah, 700 the Silverton. or whatever. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, smash all those buttons. Thanks for being my freedom friends, kids. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. And whether you're uh, celebrating the fucking end of COVID because the samples are back, or... Uh, That's when you know COVID's really over. That's when there's samples again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I started as soon as Buffet's came back. I was like, we're good. Oh, they came back a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, no, that's why I was like, Here I come, Lens. Woo! Oh, oh, we they've been open for like six months. Um, but we will see you guys fucking later. Uh, have a wonderful evening. Keep washing your fucking hands. And uh, yeah, with or without COVID, wash your fucking hands. Yeah, right. Like Nasty dirty fucks. fucking weirdos. Just but. use soap. You don't need to use hand sanitizer. No. Soap, soap works for fags. I mean, dial soap's been working fine <laughs> forever. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, happy Pride it, Month. Hey, happy Pride Month, guys. <laughs> God damn. There you go. There you go. Uh, and as always, three I do want things. to say this about Pride Month, though. Here's what I will say. If you need a fucking month to be cool with who you are, you're not actually that cool with who you are. But, to, like, okay. Like, I, fucking I, own I your it's, shit. I think it's more, no, of, a it's, it's more, it's, it's more of a celebration. You should be able to celebrate that all the time. I'm, I'm going to no. bring it up in a lot. You're not that feed. cool with People who you are. People are going to hate me, but it's going to yeah. be great. Good. Anyways, uh, three little things. Smoke on. Drink on. God, God damn it. God damn it, boys. Freedom, Freedom to fuck, fuck on. on. We'll see you guys later.